Fellas, the Nintendo Direct is officially upon us, and oh boy, it's been an interesting ride. Nintendo really had something to prove with this Direct, so I decided I'm going to take everything that was in the Direct and compress it into a video for you guys. So they started us off with Monster Hunter. It's Monster Hunter. You got what you wanted. We also got this uh, Mario Party game, which I'm not sure if this is an official release, an official release of Mario Party 10. But come on, it looks really close. It looks a bit more of a spin-off sort of thing, yeah. so I hope there's some new mechanics well, being introduced help, later. And I'm kind of excited for it, I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it seems oh, yeah, like a really oh, interesting hello. concept, and we're gonna see where they go with it. But, Hyrule Warriors! Boys, you have no idea how excited I was for this one, bro. The first one was a hit, the first one was a Smash classic. So it only made sense for them to make an expansion pack on it. Seems that the engine aged really well it aged like fine wine so i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure we got what we wanted with it only concern is that it's a bit it looks a bit laggy with the frame rates because you know it is a pretty big game so we're gonna see how they're gonna be able to compress that and are able to make it so that it's playable then we got final fantasy card this one's interesting I don't know if, what they're if they're calling a Final Hunter, Fantasy Hunter. card or not. Let me see what they're calling it. They're calling it Chocobo GP, which is uh, I'm guessing it's sort of like a Mario Kart but for Final Fantasy. And <laughs> you know I can't you know I can't wait to troll people as Chocobo in this game, man. It's gonna be so awesome. So we basically got Mario Kart 10, and then. The moment we've all been waiting for, gentlemen. The reveal of this new Smash character. Coming, coming on October the 5th. What's the point of putting it in there then? Dude, so you're telling me I'm going to get an announcement for an announcement. Like, they, they really couldn't show us anything. They had they had to, not even a little teaser, not even a little snail snippet. Come on, we're hungry, bro. We need some crumbs, man. And they got no EST time zone, bro. I got to convert it and everything. Man. This better be worth it, bro. People are speculating that that Kingdom Hearts Sora is gonna be the next character, but I, I I'm not. I, I wouldn't be disappointed if it was. You know, I feel like that would be a really good move for them. But at the same time, I know people are gonna complain that it's another anime sword fighter. <laughs> I probably might make a whole rant video on it to be honest. But then again, I'm a corn man, so I can't really complain. Barefoot waifu time. You know what it is. Now this one was interesting. We got a. It seems like an open world Kirby oh, oh, game, hair, hair. Oh. and it stars in Coconut Mall, which is really interesting. I feel like it's the first time we ever got like a fully 3D Kirby game on console, which I think is really cool. But I, I hope they bring their A game with this, and they didn't just rush it out for production so they can get like another Kirby game out. So I really, I really hope everything in this trailer is shown is like actually quality when it comes to the game. So. I'm really excited for this, especially especially all the power ups. They they revived all the classic power ups, which I, <laughs> which are really cool, no, and then they added I think a few new off. ones. Which that that spike mechanic is really off. interesting. No, I want to see where I can take how how far I can take that. Endless. And then obviously the sword, which is really fun. You know he oh, no. Kirby has really nice sword oh, no. mechanics. Oh, I got hit off. Nice. I'm excited to see where where they go with Kirby in the Forgotten what? Land. I really want to see where what? they go with this. Animal goddamn no. crossing. We're better. They we're they better. just they just won't won't give up on this game, man. I know everybody a fan of Animal Crossing and I I'm recently I can see the hype. And they're making an entire direct on that. So for you fellas, you know, for you fellas that love Animal Crossing, you know you get an entire direct dedicated to that. <laughs> but what I love about Animal Crossing is that oh it's God. so anti Nintendo, it is so crazy. Nintendo will Nintendo will probably charge you fifty dollars for each of these DLCs that Animal Crossing is giving you for free. I'm telling you, this game isn't published by Nintendo, man. This is like a completely different. <laughs> this is a completely different company right here, and then they're going under Nintendo. Like, there's no like they seem so genuine and passionate about actually making this game the best it can be, which is why I'm pretty sure that's why everybody loves it so much. And then some uh, Disney Disney princess game. <laughs> I, I, I bet you they're gonna make you make a me for it as well. They're gonna have like a bunch of it's gonna be like Meetopia but with <laughs> with Disney characters. Oh man, that that hey, if y'all into that, y'all into that, but you know Disney are scum and we don't like them over here. You know, they they ain't giving me any Disney plus sponsorships, so you know like we can't mess with them over here. Then then Star Wars, which 
don't really why they couldn't just bundle that in with the other games because i mean <laughs> these these graphics are uh very top tier even for even for switch standards they they really like downgrade these graphics man i'm really disappointed in that and then they had Dying Light for Switch, which I think is a pretty... He that he's not here. I feel like that's a pretty cool idea, and I'm really excited to see where they go with that. And fellas! I know y'all been waiting for this one ever since you saw the preview of Bro, Smash. It's, it's not and how, Z how good Zero yeah. Samus the model looks and everything. How it's good she plays in Smash. We finally get a game for that. And I know they teased us earlier. I know Nintendo, you, you're not sneaky, bro. You're not sneaky. You tried to tease us with a 3DS version of this game, and now this is just an upscale version. I was hoping for something like Metroid. Um, what's that game called? Uh, I think it was Metroid Prime on the Wii, where it was like a fully 3D FPS for Metroid. I really like that. I really like that. But I, I mean, if everybody likes a side scroll type thing, hey, do you think me make go retro with it? You know what I'm saying? But I feel I feel like this isn't like Metroid the Metroid Prime everybody's waiting for because it seems like it seems like everybody everybody was freaking out about it as if it was going to be the oh, main Metroid game gone. which as you can see the logo and then the one at East showing at E3 are completely different the logo at E3 got a 4 and this one got Prime or whatever it has on it as a goddamn dread I'm not to be honest I'm not really I'm not really into side scrollers so but green, you know, green, green, oh my God. I might check this one out if you know if they don't make it sixty dollars. <laughs> and it's gonna be available October eighth, so for you boys, oh my God, you better green, get green, strapped green. up because this is about oh to get God. juicy. But not gonna lie, everybody oh was God. skipping over this one. But you know, this is probably one of my favorites. Man. They're they're gonna make Nintendo sixty four games online, hey. man. Imagine, bro, imagine oh. trolling your friends on sixty four on online, oh man. I really hope they add some like. Fun mechanics where you can mess with the other players, sort of like Battle Block Theater or games like that. I really, I really hope they have like, have like more trolling characteristics. Like, I like I can pick up my Mario and I can throw him across the map. That'd be so fun. But unfortunately, modders can't. Modders, y'all can't get your hands on this one because you know it's a Switch port and Nintendo is really strict. On, <laughs> Nintendo's really strict on their mods. So, hey, Pokemon, you know the deal. So, and then fellas. I know y'all really wanted this one. It was Delta Room Chapter 2. Now, I got a deep from R for this one. This is going to be a handful. I know a lot of y'all got converted to furries after playing Undertale, man. Believe, believe me, I probably would have too. But, it's, you know, we're still here today. So, it's going to be a continuation of the Undertale series. And we're going to... I'm not really familiar with the lore of Undertale myself, but I've heard that it's pretty good. And they're introducing some new some new game mechanics. This isn't just like, oh, hey, a remake of Undertale with another story. They're actually adding, like, extra mini games and stuff in there. So I really I really hope they don't mess this one up because, I mean, come on. It's 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 literally like eight pixels, man. You can't, you, you literally can't mess this up. Even if the, the engine could crash and you could still make the game work, man. Like, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how simple it is. But, hey. Best of luck to you guys. Hope under uh, Delta Room goes well. And I know you guys. I know you guys thought I. I know you guys didn't want me to say this, man. Didn't want me to say this. It's playing Dior Dior. But we got Chris Brown as Mario, man. Come on, come on, man. That's all you need in this world, man. And Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, bro. Oh man, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. Let's just hope uh, oh, Seth Rogen doesn't smoke a b yet. too many blunts in the studio because <laughs> I want to be completely ready for this role, man. Because I I know Donkey Kong, he's gonna make Donkey Kong the best character on earth, bro. I can't wait for that interview, <laughs> for that interview pre post interview where people saying, "Yeah, I'm playing Donkey Kong. I'm playing a giant gorilla." <laughs> That's definitely gonna get the press's uh press's jaws to drop, but. Chris Pratt? You guys really you guys really had couldn't choose anybody else. Y'all choose Chris Pratt. They're really trying to like rival the Sonic movie sales right now, man. They're getting they're getting the top top tier list actors, bro. They're gonna have <laughs> now forget Keegan playing Toad, bro. Let's get Will Smith to play Toad. Now that's something I wanna see, but I know they're trying to they're not they're trying to beat the Sonic movie with Jim Carrey. I get it, I get it, man. Like, you it's it's gonna be a really tough, oh, no, tough, uh 
tough thing to beat. But you know, I believe I believe this movie, man. It's good. At the very least, if it's bad, it's gonna be funny, guaranteed. Like, there's no you're gonna put all these people on there and have to be funny. Watch, watch a uh, Ryan. Watch Ryan Reynolds play Luigi instead of Charlie Day. They had some, they had some uh, switch around, or they get God. <laughs> they get Bill Burr to voice Luigi. <laughs> now that I want to see, that I want to see. Splatoon 3. Y'all know I got a spot, soft spot in my heart for Splatoon, man. Like, this series is just so full of inspiration. Like, you can't you can't go wrong with a little bit of Splatoon in your life. You know what I mean? And they're adding a whole new, like, lore to it, too, which is great. Because I feel like the lore of Splatoon is really looked over because people think it's like a kid's game, right? But nah, they got they got some pretty uh some pretty interesting lore to their uh to their universe, so I like how they're going to try to end on it. But do we really need three installations of Splatoon, bro? We can't just have expansion packs for the first games? Like, I know they tried to do that with Splatoon 2, and people seem to like it. I don't know why they didn't stop continue with that. But, you know, Splatoon gameplay coming on the channel soon, guys. I know I know, you want to see that a lot, bro. And they apparently it's set in this new universe, in this, like, desert universe. And they're bringing Kali and Mari back. I think that's Camille and... and uh, so, uh, something like that, bro. Their name, their names are way too hard to pronounce. But they're bringing them back, and I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see them shine again, man. Like they were, they were really the stars of Splatoon One, man. Like they did, they knew what they were doing when they played those roles. So, and then finally, they really saved the last one for best boys. Now they start to they marketed it as, hey, this is another military shooter for Switch, which. I don't really see many military suit shoes on Switch. I think they're trying to go for the more autistic route this time around. But they are trying to add those more mature games. I mean, you're not seeing Warzone on the Switch, but <laughs> but you but you got Ghosts on the Wii. So we we got um we really got bamboozled there. But as soon as as soon as Bayonetta came out, man, don't lie to me, man. And I, I think I'm not the only one who who can. I think I'm the only not the only one here, but oh, man, if you skip it, I'm not really digging the new design, man. Honestly, like, I really want to be supportive of the game and everything, but the design is just not it, man. Like, I feel like they're trying to make her too much too anime this time around. Like, it, she lost the entire essence of what makes Bayonetta Bayonetta in her face, and now she just looks like a generic anime girl. So, <laughs> not to mention they changed her up her entire hairstyle, man. Like. But her personality is definitely on point. They still got she still got the sass she normally has, which I, which I really like. It's really nice to see like superhero type characters in, in video games, man. Cause I, I or like Spider Man type characters. Cause I love seeing, I love hearing that dialogue when someone gets gets beat up and then they get the little jokes in there. Like I really love that. I really appreciate that, man. We need to see more of that. We need to get more superhero games like that. But um, the combat the combat system I really like it. It feels more, it feels a very hack and slash, very everything people would like, you know what I mean? Very, but I feel, it feels very crisp, it looks like, and I feel like you can upgrade your abilities like every other JRPG, and I feel like, I haven't played the first Bayonetta, so I wouldn't know, I really want to play her in Smash. <laughs> She's annoying in Smash, by the way, I hope they give a new skin for her when this game comes out for Smash Bros, but maybe I'm getting my ho high hopes up too high, man, but... I really hope there's an idea where you can what make Bayonetta the uh, first and second outfits. I feel like that'd really be what? a game changer for this game because I know people really like the Bayonetta 1 2 designs, man. Especially especially the 1 design. Like, the 1 design was on point. Like, they got everything right. And then 2, <laughs> two she went through an emo phase. I don't know what happened over there. First she was an Arab princess and now she's a goddamn emo teenager. <laughs> or a lesbian. One of those, but... Uh, I really, I really, really interesting to see where the story goes with this one because I didn't think the story could get any crazier. But then you see the giant dragon boss in the end. It's just oh, the giant battle in the end. It's just like oh man, they are really, they are really pushing this game, bro. And this is running on Switch. Like they really took advantage of the hardware for this one. Uh, I can't, I can't wait to see what they got in store for that man. And I feel like that was all for the direct, really. And it was crazy, man. They really brought their A game out with this Nothing one. On the, but uh, the 
But I really hope that Smash Direct is worth it, because they had to postpone it to another date, man. And Breath of the Wild too. They still they still said they in the last direct they had no updates for it. I'm hoping I'm hoping that they're we're gonna have something about that soon because man, I I need an, I need motivation to finish Breath of the Wild one, man. <laughs> Those puzzles kill me, man. All right. So I think that's all for for this direct, and that's gonna be all from from me. So Nintendo, you're doing well, man. Ho hope you stay going this route, man. Don't. Don't give us a troll direct like last time, man. Cause I know nobody was excited for those games. Maybe a few games in there were excited for exciting, but they they were they don't I don't know what audience they were trying to please there. Like they were really trying to pl please. They're really trying to please everybody with Nintendo, which is never really a good route, especially with anything really. I just hope they keep continuing doing their own thing and not getting influenced by you know everybody <laughs> bothering them about everything. But. Uh -huh. I was really hoping to see some Sonic right. stuff. That was really the only thing that they were missing. Like, I wanted to see some Sonic uh, uh, Prime news at least. But, you know, I feel like I, there there's controversy right now with uh, them and Sony and everything with that, regarding that. But that's not for this video. What? So. Is anything right now? What's when? All right. I feel like that's everything. Pretty much covers it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to see you later. Peace. It's because it's a stupid music.